Welcome, welcome to Cooking Around's channel. Welcome once again. We have a lot of requests for pasta. I guess it's pasta season. So what do I have for you today? Creamy salmon leek pasta. And it is out of this world. So let's not waste any more time. Let me show you how to put this awesome, awesome recipe together. And here's all my shopping spaghetti, fresh salmon, and I'm going to infuse it with leeks. This gives it an awesome, awesome taste. And of course, you know what else is good is we also have, you know, some uh, cream, sour cream, some parsley, and to give it that zest, some lemon. Now, when you combine butter, and lemon mixed in and sauteed into those leeks it's going to give the great taste to the salmon you are going to love it so let's get going here okay here i have some fresh atlantic salmon and what i'm doing is i'm removing the skins now you can keep the skins on but you know it's going to get kind of like a funny taste to your pasta and it's not going to look good so i would remove them now i want you to cut the salmon into chunks try to cut it as even as possible if you want the pieces bigger that's still okay but this is the way i like it let's start off on medium heat and adding about two to three tablespoons of butter now the leeks i chopped into little slices like this try to get some of the green and some of the white but don't go to the dark green because it's going to make your pasta taste very bitter now be careful here when you're adding salt I'm only adding half a teaspoon of salt but remember your pasta may contain some salt also so be careful not to over salt it now this has been going for about two minutes now here I'm using a white Portuguese dry wine and I'm adding about half a cup Now let's get that lemon in. Take about half a lemon, put it in your hand like this so the seeds don't go in, and just add the whole juice to it just like this. Now let's increase the heat and let's keep on stirring and stirring until you evaporate all the alcohol. Take anywhere from five to six minutes and now we are ready to start the good stuff. Now one cup of sour cream. This is on the lighter side of the fat content on this one and let's mix it all around. Now you can use creme fraiche if you want but for some reason I cannot find it over here. And here we go with the powerhouse. Half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. About a dash or a couple of dashes or a teaspoon of black pepper. That now depends on you and one tablespoon of Dijon mustard. Now the mustard you want to use could be just regular table mustard. It's whatever that you would like. Now reduce it down to medium heat and let's get the temperature up while you are blending all the ingredients in. And now I'm adding about six ounces of sliced Atlantic salmon. Now you can use basically any type of salmon you want, but I would not use frozen if you can avoid it. And we're just going to let that sit now like this in the pan for about three minutes. Okay, the temperature of the salmon has gone up and let's start slowly, slowly stirring it and blending it in so it will now cook very evenly. And here we go when the salmon turns pink all the way through and on both sides you know it is ready. Now at this moment add half a cup of chopped parsley or basically any type of parsley that would keep you happy. Now back to medium heat and look at this. Let's blend it in just perfectly. Let's get it close up. Now look at this salmon with the sauce. Isn't your mouth watering right now? And when this blends with the pasta, it's going to be really, really great. Now get yourself one of these pasta strainers. They're absolutely great. And without straining the spaghetti, I'm adding about eight ounces or half a package of spaghetti. And 
Again, I don't want you to strain it and I want some of the liquid to go into the dish. Give it now a good blending in and please serve it immediately. So here you go, an awesome pasta salmon dish. And once again, we have to come to the end of the video. I thank you for watching this video. I want to thank you guys and everybody out there. And all I can say now is goodbye from Tony and Cooking Around.